So for those of you that don't know me, uh, I studied psychology in undergrad and uh, it's caused me to believe that people are not very unique on the whole. A lot of people are much like each other and Jason is one of the rare exceptions. Truly, there aren't many really great people that you meet. And I've had the great pleasure of knowing a truly great person for his entire life. And ever since Kristen has come into his life, I have seen him be happier than I've ever seen. both been dreaming of this day since before we even knew each other and now that it's finally here I'm so thankful that God brought us together. I've always said that we are total opposites but those differences create the most beautiful thing about you and I. Everything I want and need in my life I have found in you. You literally complete me. I cannot imagine where or who I'd be if God hadn't brought you into my life. Thank you for choosing me when you could have had anyone else. Thank you for making me work to earn you. You taught me to truly honor, respect, and cherish everything about you and who you are. I love you, Kristen. It's that simple. I love you, and I always will. If God let you pick your sisters, I wouldn't have been able to pick up anyone better. You're the person that I strive to be like every day. I admire you in so many ways. I admire your loving heart, your humble spirit, and your godliness. You truly are beautiful inside and out. After today, our relationship will change a lot, but you will forever be my sister. Marriage is about becoming a team. You're going to spend the rest of your life learning about each other, and every now and then, things blow up but the beauty of marriage is that if you pick the right person, you both love each other, you'll always figure out a way to get through it. I love you both. Jason, today is the day that I become Mrs. Stevenson. I can't believe we made it. I have dreamed about this day since our first date at River Birch. You are everything I have ever wanted in a husband and best friend for life. I am so looking forward to starting this amazing adventure with you. I can't wait to see you at the end of the aisle. I know you are going to look super amazing and absolutely handsome. I can't wait to be your wife in just a few short hours. Love you more, Kristen. Suppose every couple would like for their wedding ceremony to be a memorable occasion. Well, I'll tell you this, this will be one to remember. <laughs> Three storms and two inches of rain have brought us to this point. 
Kristen, how can I possibly express the depth of my love for you? I can't even possibly describe my dreams of our future. What could I possibly say to prove to you that I will fight for you every moment of every day for the rest of our lives? No words can do justice for the love that God has given me for you. So my vows today are really simple. I promise to love you today, tomorrow, and every day after, no matter what. You know every one of my flaws, and yet you somehow still manage to love me just the same. You're my very best friend, my one true love, the one my heart continually longs for, and I will never stop loving you. Jason, you're the man of my dreams, my greatest blessing, my forever and my best friend. I couldn't imagine my life without you by my side. I love your sense of humor. You always keep me laughing. I love your character and your willingness to follow God. I love that you always choose me and you put me first no matter what. You pursued me and studied me to win my heart again. You were super patient with me when you asked me to be your girlfriend, even though I said no a million times. <laughs> I will never forget your face the moment I say yes. You love me, encourage me, and support me through everything, and for that, I thank you. Jason, I promise to stand by your side in every adventure and trial. I promise to be your biggest fan, to laugh with you and cry with you. I promise to respect you and cherish you. I promise to always fight for you and our marriage, no matter what. I promise to love you every second, every minute, and every hour of every day. By the authority given me by the state of North Carolina as a minister of the gospel, I now pronounce you husband and wife, God has joined you. Never let anyone or anything separate you. Jason, you may kiss your wife. <laughs>